everyone, and welcome this morning. How has the conference been so far for everybody? Awesome, awesome. So today, I'm going to pose a quick question for you. Uh, what does leadership development have to do with the Google self-driving car? I'm here to tell you the answer to that today. So let me introduce myself. Uh, I work at SAP, one of the largest software companies in the world. I manage operations for the Global Learning Organization under Jenny Dearborn, who many of you know. Uh, she is awesome. Uh, and uh, what we are responsible for is employee learning for 85,000 employees worldwide at SAP. This includes 7,800 leaders and people managers. And like many of you, you may have challenges in your leadership development. We at SAP have a multi-generational workforce with at least five levels and five generations in the workforce. We have got people who are early talent that are coming in that need to be developed and moved through the leadership pipeline. We also have an aging population in our workforce and an aging group of leaders. So we are experiencing a very clear and very steep retirement cliff of our leadership talent. So how are we going to deal with that? To get the pipeline filled with qualified leaders and candidates and prepare for that retirement cliff so it's really just a little retirement curb like on the side of the road. So I work in Mountain View, California. Uh, <laughs> Mountain View, California, woo! Which is about a mile from Google. So every day as I drive to work or walk up to the restaurant, I see hundreds of Google self-driving cars. And they're cool. And I think to myself, that is so simple. What if I could just get into one, sit down, and I wouldn't have to worry about where I was going, what my destination was, how I got there, but I know it would take me from where I am today to where I need to be in the future. How many of you have seen a Google self-driving car? Great. For those of you who haven't, I'm going to play a little video from Google that talks about the Google self-driving car to give you a quick introduction of how they work. Today, we have something extra special for you guys, and you guys will be some of the first people outside of our team and outside of Google to ever ride in it. It was a big decision for us to go and start building our purpose-built vehicles for this. And really, they're, they're prototype vehicles. They were a chance for us to, to explore what does it really mean to have a self-driving vehicle. But in the small amount of time we've been working on it, you know, we have functional prototypes, and that's exciting. Oh, it's really cool. It, it was like really kind of a space-age experience. Oh, okay. Hooray. We're like queens. You said, relax, you don't need to do nothing. It knows when it needs to stop, it knows when it needs to go. <laughs> it actually rides better than my own car. Yes, sure. <laughs> what she really liked was that it slowed down before it went around a curve and then accelerated in the, in curve. the curve. She's always trying to get me to do, do it that way. That's the way I learned in <laughs> high school driver's ed. So if I had a self-driving car, I could spend more time hanging out with my kids or helping them with their homework, even just tending to them, finding out how their day was and not having to wait till you get home and have dinner and all that, so it'll be good. Human feeling of it is very well engineered and it is very smooth. There's nothing that makes you feel the least bit threatened. 
it's impressive. I'm, I'm totally in love with this whole concept. <laughs> our, our lives are made up of lots and lots of little things. And a lot of those little things for most people have to do with getting from place to place in order to connect and do things, you know, be with people, go places that they need to go and do things. And uh, so there's a big part of my life that's missing and there's a big part of my life that a self-driving vehicle would bring back to me. This is a first step for us uh, and it's really exciting to see the progress we've made. The opportunity for people to just move around and, and not worry about it, it's going to be incredibly empowering and incredibly powerful for people. I love this! <laughs> Thank you. So, how do we apply the concept of a Google self-driving car to leadership development. And why is that important? We want to make this journey simple for the leader. We want to make it simple for the executives to plan for the leadership pipeline that we're running. At SAP, we run our leadership program through a leadership roadmap. And we like to look at it from where the leader is today to where they need to be at the end of their next journey. So what we do is we take the leader and we build them and take them through a transition phase. If they're an aspiring leader, we take them through first level leader. Then we try to get them to build excellence. And excellence, we make sure that they have things along the way that help with their journey. They may have learning interventions, they may have coaching, they may have assessments, and along the way, we try to measure them with scorecards. Scorecards will take into account where they are in their leadership journey and where they need to go, what skills and competencies they need to build, and what opportunities are along the way. So what if we could make this leadership roadmap seamless and simple? To be honest, right now at SAP, we are um, managing this through our LMS, and we're doing a lot of these steps very manually and very disconnected. It is very difficult for the leader to manage through their leadership journey. Imagine yourself as a leader. How many of you are people leaders? Okay, so we've got a few people leaders. And to, to get you from where you are today, to where you need to be in the future may be a challenging task. You don't know what to take. You don't know what skills you need to get you to the next level. You don't know what opportunities are available for you at that next level. So how do we get the leaders through this journey to build a pipeline that meets the needs of the organization, as well as the development opportunities and the development goals of the person, and take them through this learning journey so they're prepared for their next level of leadership. Let's look at how the self-driving car drives and navigates and see if we can apply this to leadership development. So as I drive through Mountain View, California, and I see all these Google cars, I see that there are sensors. There are sensors that take in information. They take in information on lasers, objects, detours, things along the way on the road. So if our learning leadership journey could take those things into account, we would have a much smoother journey. They also have power with electric batteries. Uh, they've got a very sophisticated computer system that uses algorithms to take in all this big data, calculate it to determine the best route moving forward. There are also backup systems and, of course, it's got a beautiful rounded shape to make it comfortable and cute to drive around in. What if we applied this philosophy to leadership development and technology? What if we had technology that took into account all of the information along the way for the journey of the leader? What if it took the current role of that leader in the current level it took into account their experience, their education, how their performance level was, 
what the succession plan is. What if it put that into a recommendation engine that showed from HR data within your corporation what needed to be developed in a leader and took in personal information from me as a leader about who I am now and where I want to go in the future. So as I mentioned, Jenny Dearborn's my boss. How do I get to the point where I can fill her shoes in the future? What skills, competencies, what uh, experience and education do I need to get to that journey, to get to that next level? And how do the algorithms, how can an algorithm make that journey very easy for me? Also, how does it connect to the workforce planning and succession planning of the organization so we can make sure that we account and prepare for that retirement cliff and build a pipeline of early talent, mid-level talent that will populate and use workforce planning and our data in that system to manage that and build the leadership pipeline. This is all very new technology. Like the Google self-driving car, it's a concept, but this is the future of leadership development, and not just leadership development, but talent development moving forward. It will take us where we are today to where we need to be in the future in our roles. It's an integrated new frontier. We've got all of the HR data systems. Some may be separate, some made together. Some may be spreadsheets, some may be documents. But can we take all of these development opportunities, build them in to a recommendation engine that will use a scorecard to determine where you are today and map those opportunities along the way? And take into account opportunities as we travel down the road. Maybe a new job opens up that comes in from the recruiting uh, group. Or maybe there's a detour along the way and a manager wins the lottery, for example, and we need to fill that space relatively quickly. How do we do that? So the future of leadership development will be taking all these things into account and moving them forward and building the self-driving car for leadership development. Taking all of these things into account with a scorecard that manages the person along the way. But we want to make this very elegant. So how do we present it to the leader who's going through this process? So it's not arduous. What we want to do is give them a leadership app that will take them along this journey through transition into their new role, building experience, performing in that new role, and building excellence so they can move to the next level of leadership. And it's all guided from a simple application that by the time the technology I'm sure is developed would be something a little bit different than your iPhone and an app, but a tool that will make it simple for leaders to get from one point in their career to the next level of their career seamlessly without effort and build that pipeline that is smooth for the organization so we don't have a, require, a retirement cliff, we might just have a retirement curve. Thank you.